Hi everyone, it's Valerie and I'm here to share my envelopes with you and a few other things. So I have this big basket of loveliness here. A lot of finished envelopes. I think you'll really like them. So I'm going to just go through them now and I hope you really uh, give this a try. Painting the envelopes really does give the envelopes uh, a really different feel to them than than just normal envelopes. So these are just uh, regular business envelopes, business size envelopes. And yeah, just decorate them up with some laces and fabrics and all of your embellishments. I really like this one because of the fabric. I love that fabric. Gorgeous fabric. That's the back. There's one with a, uh, an eyelet that I attached a gift tag to. You can use these envelopes in your journals or you can put uh, letters in them. You can't mail them, obviously, but you can still put letters and cards and, you know, make some cards or give them for, like, gift cards, put gift cards and things inside them. I still have the odd one. I'm going to go back and add some bling to and some flower centers. That's the back of this one. Yeah, so painting the envelopes really does give it a different feel. It feels totally different than just using regular paper. And I'm sure you can paint them with anything. You don't have to just use uh, the gold and silver the way I did. This one was just that kind of antiquing. Uh, ink that I had with a little bit of mica powder. She can just barely see a bit of a sheen through it. So I covered this one up with totally with lace. I like it. it. Turned out nice. I do like the silver ones as well. I like them all actually. I like the way they turned out. Very nice. This one will have some bling go through my supplies and see what I can find for, for these. This one's very pretty as well. Very gold. I like the way that this turned out. It's like having a hinge. Looks like a hinge on it. Very cool. This is a nice little tag. I just lightly taped on so the person can use it as a gift tag and I forgot I have to go and put some gold thread on there so I just tack this on with a little bit of washi I like this one too very purdy pretty purdy There's some of that rose gold scrapbooking paper in the background there. It really looks nice. Nice 
purple one. Another one that needs a bit of bling. I don't know what's stuck on there. Oh. And then this one, you go in from the end and slide something in there. Big gift tag. I just did it plain on the back. Some plain crocheting. Nice silver one. I really like the front of that one. Something about it. And here's the rustic. Rustic gold lace I put on this one. And then I also did some bags. I had a bunch of these. Um, they were these polka dot bags, the red ones, and I'm not too crazy about, about the bright red. So I toned it down with the gold paint just painted the envelopes and yeah they turned out not too bad this one's very gold themed and I did the uh, that gold leafing kind of technique on the front of this on a couple of them and I didn't this one it really stuck to the next one so I'm gonna have to clean this up quite a bit but uh, yeah, some of them stuck. I put them together before they were dry enough. Gotta watch that. This is the one that's stuck to. I like the way these turned out, other than them sticking to each other. So some bags, and then also this here. Did a few gift tags. These are the round ends of the spool of ribbon. So I had some ends and just made little gift tags. It's a purplish one. I want to curve a little bit. I'll have to find a way to straighten them out. I like the, the way this one turned out. Very layered. And then I also got creating some embellishments. Uh, I painted, because I painted a lot of the uh, those wooden board pieces and I got painting the chipboard pieces as well so I decided to use up a lot of my stash of my doilies and just made little embellishments and I can go back and layer these up with some more things there are some bigger ones there are lots and lots of small ones there's one that I put a little flower on on this Door. Uh, let me see what else do I have here? This big one. That one's layered a little bit. Find something else for the top of that. Uh, what else is in here? Circle. Another one like that one. Ooh, some hearts. Yeah, you can use these embellishments, and there's a heart, some flowers, more hearts, these are the ones that are painted up, this one with a circle and a chipboard piece, and most of these ones here on, in this square are the little cut out um, wooden ones 
wooden cutout ones. So that's a different I tried tried to make a whole selection of them, so I had a number of things to choose from when I'm working on some pieces. This little owl. A butterfly. Yeah, so you get the picture. And then some of these button chipboard pieces. I just tied a thread through and mounted them on a doily and some of them I sparkled up. Sparkled, used some of my glitter and then painted some clear nail polish over them. Some of them I just left as is. So this one is a little bit more decorated up. And the larger ones. Some of the button chipboard pieces they had it very strange shapes like this one and this one. But I decorated them up anyways. Big heart. A big one there. Different. Big heart, big piece, little heart, the one that's layered up a little bit, and a really big one. And then put some words on some, a little bit of eyelash trim. Another one. It says treasures. That's another layered one. Heart. And then some of the smaller ones I just backed on a little piece of a doily. I'll get lots of uses out of these in the future, I'm sure. Another word, one with some words on it. one. I'll probably use a lot of these in my next batch of envelopes that I'm making over there. I have another big batch that's in the processes of being various processes of construction. Yeah. So this is what I have been doing, and I hope that you find this inspiring and give it a try. Paint some envelopes and see if that doesn't inspire you. And that is about it for now, so I will catch you guys all next time. Bye for now.